This is Coyote News. The women's basketball team released their schedule earlier this month. Live in the muck is Coyote News' Sydney Funderman to tell us more. Sydney? Thanks, Landon. I'm here with Coach Kayla Karius, who has taken over as the women's basketball head coach, also known as Coach K. So how does it, your non-conference schedule prepare you for the Summit League this season? Well, we definitely have a lot of challenges on our non-conference schedule. Um, certainly we have a new team, a lot of new faces, and I wanted to have a balance of, of great competition, um, some great home games for our fans, as well as a, a couple challenges for us to go on the road and have to really stick together in tough atmospheres. Don Plitzway brought the team a lot of success last season. How do you plan on to follow this up? Well, we certainly are a new team. You know, it, they have had tremendous success here in the past. Really, if you look at the past 10 years, it's really grown and grown and taken these steps every year. And we are really proud of the tradition and the success that's been here in the past. Full well knowing we're a new group and we have a lot of new faces and new leadership. So it's important to us uh, to really carve our own path. And we've been talking a lot about that. So to continue the culture and the standards that we have here at the same time, taking on our own personality. Is there a certain matchup you're most excited for this season? I've gotten this question a lot, and I, I really think it's going to be the first game. It's what I'm most excited for, and I think throughout the whole season, it's, it's always going to be the next one. I think there's a lot of fun ones that our fans probably have circled on their calendars, and, and all the power to them. I think that's fantastic. There's certainly a lot of in-region matchups that are really intriguing for people, uh, but we just can't wait to get out there and get started. <laughs> There's a pretty much a whole new coaching staff this season. How have you guys been preparing and working together for this? Well, we've really had an important summer together. So we got everybody here uh, by May, and then we had a chance to, to hit the recruiting trail this summer and then spend a lot of time with our team. We had an incredible opportunity to go to Greece on a foreign tour, and that allowed our team to have a lot more practices together, which just meant more time, more time to build relationships, to get together on the court. And then when you travel together, you really bond and develop those relationships too. So yes, all new faces, but now I feel like we've, we've developed a really good foundation that we're headed into the season and excited for. And finally, yesterday marked your guys' first, uh, uh, first season practice. Yeah. How do you feel now that you're back with the team all together? Well, it's really great to all be back in the gym at the same time. We went through this period when we got back from Greece and taking a little time off and then easing back into some individual and some skill workouts, which I think are really important too. But there's a whole new energy when you get back together in the gym and you're all there. Uh, you've got all of our coaches and some managers and there's just so much energy um, and everybody's excited. It feels like the start of a new school year. Some people compare it to Christmas, however you want to look at it. I just think it's a lot of great energy and now we're excited because the season is really close and it's in sight. Thank you so much for your time, Coach K. Yeah, thank you so much. Go Yotes. Live in the muck for Coyote Sports, I'm Sydney Funderman. Thanks, Sydney. The season opener for the women's basketball team is an exhibition against the South Dakota School of Mines on November 1st.